OK, in this video, I'm going to show you how to remove extra spaces in your Microsoft Word document. You can see where the extra spaces are. I've got them at the beginning of each paragraph and I've got extra spaces between words. Now I've made these words bold, not because they're part of this process, but just to make it easier to see where the problem spaces are. Now a good button to use if you want to see extra spaces is on the home tab of your ribbon and it's the show hide button. And these little dots here are where the spaces are. And you can actually see I've got spaces after the paragraph as well that I would like to get rid of. Now between the words, I've got two spaces there, four spaces there, and there are nine spaces here. So I want to be sure that I reduce the number of spaces to one space between words, but I also get rid of all of the spaces before and after the paragraphs. So how do I do this? Well, there's a number of ways we can do this. First method, we're gonna use Find and Replace. So go to the Home tab on your ribbon. In the Editing group, go to the Replace button. And in the Find What box, type Carrot and that Shift and Six on your keyboard, and then a W. And replace with, you want to put a space in that box. Now, if you click on replace all, you can see it's made a remarkable amount of replacements, 219 replacements. Click on OK. What it actually did is it went through every single space in the document and worked out whether it needed to replace it or not. So wherever there was more than one space, it reduced it down to one space. Now, this method is fine if you want to do a replace all, but it's not so good if you're using the replace button. Let me show you what I mean. I'll close this out and I'll undo that find and replace. So I'll click at the beginning of the document, go up to the replace button, or I can use this shortcut key, Control H. And now I'm going to use the replace button. And you'll see what it does. It goes through each occurrence of a space in the document and decides whether or not it needs to replace it. So as I said, if you've got a very lengthy document, this could be a very lengthy process if you wanted to only reduce spaces into certain parts of your document. So I'll close out of this. I'll undo what we've done. And let's look at a different method. Now this second method also uses find and replace. So home, replace or control H on your keyboard. And this time we're going to use some different characters in the find what box. First of all, I'm going to open a bracket, put a space in it, and then close the bracket. Then open up a brace bracket, type two, and then a comma, and then close the brace bracket. In the replace with box, I'll delete that space that's already there. Then I need a backslash and a one. Now, once you've done that, you need to go to more, and then tick this little option, use wildcards. Now, if I go to replace all, it goes through the document and it says it's made seven replacements. Now I'll close out of this and I'll undo that find and replace. And let's see how it works if I use the replace button rather than replace all. So control H, now I'm going to use replace. So you can see it's picking out those leading spaces at the beginning of the first paragraph. Then it jumps straight to the next occurrence of multiple spaces together. And it goes on, does the same thing wherever it finds multiple spaces. So that's a lot more efficient than having to go through every single space in your document. So this method is better if you think you're gonna use this replace button rather than replace all. So I'll close out of this and I'll undo what I've done there. Now you may have noticed that when I used either of these methods, it still left a space at the beginning of each paragraph. I'll show you what I mean. Control H, replace all. Click on OK. You can see you've still got that space there, at the beginning of the paragraph and also at the end of the paragraph. And it's the same for this paragraph as well. So this method and the previous method doesn't get rid of those spaces because it's always leaving one space when it does the find and replace. 
close. Now I'll undo the find and replace and I'll show you how to get rid of those spaces. So this method will only work for leading and trailing spaces. So what you do is you click into the paragraph. And first of all, you need to center align it. Now you can do that by clicking this button up here, the center align button. Then what you want to do is right align it and then left align it. You can see now it's got rid of those spaces at the beginning and the end of the paragraph. Now, if you want to do it for the whole document, let me just undo what I've done there. What you would do is you'd select the whole document. So if I use Control A to do that, and then you can use shortcut keys to apply the alignment. So Control E for center align, Control R for right align, Control L for left align, and it's got rid of all those trailing and leading spaces. Won't get rid of the spaces between the words, but we know how to do that. Control H. Replace all, click on OK and close, and your document is now perfect. OK, that's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully that's useful. If it is, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you next video.